The last part of validation I want to add for our form is to make sure that the save button is disabled if this form is not valid. Right now we can check for an input validity and each of these inputs is valid right now, but we can also check for the form's validity. The form is only valid when each of its inputs is also valid. So if one of these is invalid, then the form becomes invalid. Just like we were able to bind the ng model over to this local template variable, let's do the same thing for our form. We're going to create a form template variable, and we'll bind it to ng form. ng form and ng model were provided to us as soon as we implemented the forms module in that app module, which we did in about lesson three, I believe. Now that we have access to this form, let's take a look at some of the parts of the form. We're going to go form valid. And this will tell us if the form is valid or not. Another great thing we can do here is we can automatically disable this button. We'll property bind disabled is equal to form.invalid. Let's go take a look. Is the form valid? True right now. Let's delete everything. And now our form is not valid. This button is no longer able to be clicked. So really easy way to bind our overall form and make sure that it is valid before we can submit it. This is a lot better than having to go do all of these different validation checks as soon as somebody submits the form. We already know that by submitting the form, it is valid. If we go into our template class and delete these. So now our user object is just a couple blanks. We can go take a look. Our form is not valid anymore. Our button is not clickable. To wrap up, we've been able to create a template driven form. We've been able to two way data bind from the template over to the class. We've been able to show validation states and show classes as red or green for validation. We've also been able to disable the overall form if the overall form is not valid. This about wraps up what we're going to do with template driven forms. We'll be moving forward after this to model driven forms, which are also known as reactive forms.